Hey there, I'm Lane Johnson. Welcome to my studio. I'm excited today to try out another Aspen short brush made by Princeton. Today's brush will be the short round pointed. Let's see what this brush can do. I'll be using my Mary Classico oil paints for this demonstration. Okay, I'm using a number four short round pointed Aspen brush. And it's got a nice detailed point. You can, uh, what I'm doing is basically detailing some of these leaves. Speed this up a little bit. And this is a fairly large brush to make such fine details. It's, I'm really impressed. I can see how this is going to be a very versatile brush. Uh, Rounds are, are a staple. I mean, if you're painting portraits, especially uh, landscapes, it's, it's round is one of the main brushes you're gonna be using. Uh, when rounds get worn out after lots and lots of use, they make good uh, fo foliage brushes as far as blocking in goes. Uh, but when it comes down to creating the detail, I always go to a newer brush, and this brand new brush, so it's got nice detailed qualities to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, what more can you ask for? Let's speed up. It's really good to be, this, a brush this size to be able to cre create this kind of detail uh, is exceptional, I believe. Um, and this is a synthetic brush, these are Aspens. It's got a quality of, of um, a sable brush almost, it's just beautiful. Working great. Let's go down to the landscape portion on the ground, out of the trees, and I want to add some flowers in this scene. These are like almost a mini sun, sun chokes or, or basically a type of sunflower. In, in the hill country, there's lots of different types of wildflowers. Depending on the month, uh, this is like oh, early summer. So you're, 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 the blue bonnets will be gone and it, the other summer flowers will be appearing uh, and grasses. So you'll see a lot of green grasses mixed in with dead grasses, mixed in with lots of other flora. And this is just blocking in those kind of details. Adding some brighter yellows here into this sunburst area where the sun's coming through and really highlighting this one section of the foreground, adding drama. Let's speed up a little bit. Again, it's, I mean, the point's just beautiful to create these, these kind of details. Makes you want to just step into the scene, you know. You can almost hear the bumblebees flying around. Uh, go back across the road here. These are preliminary details. Uh, probably going to be some other types of flowers in the scene. Not a lot. I don't want to overwhelm the viewer. Um, as you can see, I'm painting thicker towards the end of the painting. And this brush also would be good to paint on cactus, you know. With this point on this brush, I bet I could do all the, the needle pin, the little dots, so to speak, on the cactus paddles. As you get towards the end of a painting, you're creating details. A brush like this makes it a lot of fun. It really does. Hmm. 
Now these are the shapes of the main part of flowers and sometimes you're going to be able to see something more detailed, something that's in the center of the flower, uh, the dark color. Let's try that. Ping! You see how much detail this brush can give you. For a large brush too, for the, typically when I try to do this kind of painting, I'm using a small brush, but this brush is all you need. It's amazing. I really, again, really enjoy this brush. I've really enjoyed all of these Aspen short brushes. Makes painting fun. There you go. Hey, that was a lot of fun painting with this short round pointed brush. Join me for the next video where I'll be demonstrating another Aspen short brush made by Princeton.